with the light that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black-led sport um, and celebrated here, I want to show a light on black women. Um, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. Um, they've given so much to this sport and the community and society as a whole, and their value is un undeniable. Um, and in the WNBA last season, the postseason awards, 80% of the winners were black, but they got half of the coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Sport sports media and sponsors tell us who is valuable. And you have told the world that I matter today. And everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. So to Maria Taylor, Robin Roberts, Maya Moore, Odyssey Alexander, to all the incredible black women in my life, on my teams, to Breonna Taylor and all the lives lost, and to those names who have not yet learned, but I hope to share. I stand behind you and I'll continue to follow, follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So I just want to say thank you for everything. Paige Beckers, man. Um, and I know you guys are like, man, that was old, man. That was from 2020. Um, yeah, but that was like a lifetime. <laughs> A lifetime comment, man. She don't never have to speak again, man. She good for life for that one, man. That's actually what the WNBA players wanted uh, Kathy Engelbert to say, man. That's literally like anybody who works for the league. That's what, what Paige just said. That's the answer to any question, okay? Any question they ask you about the league, just say that. So go home and get in the mirror and memorize Paige's speech, man, so you can never fall out of favor with the wokesters in the WNBA, man. Um, now let's get on to what Brianna said. Brianna, she uh wasn't smart enough to give a um a lifetime, get a lifetime, get out of jail free card, um, like Paige did. Paige is a genius, man. Um, so now Brianna, she has to constantly comment on every, um, every firestorm that comes up racially in the um, WNBA. So let's hear what she had to say. I, uh, like, to be honest, I saw the interview today, um, and then have been in talks with, uh, Terry at the WPA. I think that, um, it's, it's kind of disappointing to hear because, you know, the way that, the, the fans have surged, and especially behind um, Kaylin and Angel coming to this league, but also um, bringing like a, a race aspect to a, a different level. And, uh, you know, there's there's no place for that in our sport. And I think that's really it is we want our sport to be inclusive for um, race, you know, gender, um, and, and really a place where people can be themselves. So um, we wish... Obviously, Kathy would use her platform in a different way and have made that a little bit better. But kind of just telling the fans, like, enough enough is enough, you know. Um, become a fan of our sport. And for the new ones, like, lock in on everybody, but don't be disrespectful. Because as a league, like, we stick together, and there's there's no place for that. She's talking about Caitlin Clark fans. She's not talking about Angel Reese fans at all. She's not even remotely. She And when she's talking, she's only talking about Caitlin Clark fans. She, she would never contemplate that the vast majority of the racial animus and venom being spewed online is being spewed by Angel Reese fans and people that look like Angel Reese. Okay? I'm online all the time. I get it. Calling me the C double O N word is a slur. That's a racial slur. Calling me an Uncle Ruckus is a slur. Because I support Caitlin Clark, because I'm a fan of Caitlin Clark. Those are racial slurs, Brianna.
okay? Also, the things that they say about white people, the things they call white people, the constant references to Caitlyn's race in every tweet and every post, attributing her success, a girl who led the nation in scoring and assists in a Power Five conference, and now has broken every rookie record other than rebounding, which Angel's broken those, even though your league is so tough and was so physical and it's going to be so hard to get for the rookies to come in, they they shattered every record, every rookie record. Everything, Caitlin, no one attributes to Angel Reese's rebounds. Like, oh, she got twa- fast twitch fibers. Uh, she got, um, you know, she got that um, uh, DNA from from. Nobody talks like that when they're talking about Angel. Oh, she only gets it because you know black people got long arms, and no one talks like that about Angel, Rihanna. Well, Caitlin. Everything she's done is attributed to her race and a gift she's getting because of privilege, because of her race. The hours in the gym she spends honing her craft. It's all attributed to some privilege that she's getting. It's some handout some DEI handout, basically calling her a DEI. She didn't earn it. Dog whistling Caitlin all day long on the internet. Brianna. And you sound like a straight up snowflake in that comments you just made. You're getting now. Everyone's loving what you said. So I'll give you that. I'm not even going to lie. Everyone's applauding you for what you said. So I get it. But you sounded like a weak, soft snowflake in that comment. The fact that they're praising your comment as if it was some kind of speech, like it was like the Gettysburg address or something, just shows you how, yo, Y'all are whack, man. Y'all league is whack. You're like the cardboard box. You're 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 the styrofoam of NBA players, of WNBA players personality-wise. You're like um <laughs> you're like tofu, man. There's no there's nothing to there's no sizzle. I can see why you never blew up, why you never became a star off the court. And some people are like me. They're not taking it. Listen, I don't care. I know a lot of Caitlin Clark channels and pages on Twitter and pages on IG and YouTube channels are going to bend the knee and bow to the mob. I'm not doing it, man. (laughs) I don't care. These chicks are whining about nothing and they're lying. I'm not bending no knee. I'm not even giving you the consideration of saying, yeah, you're right. It didn't need to stop. No, it don't need to stop. Kathy Engelberg was right. Y'all don't, y'all are expressing y'all right to say whatever y'all want on Twitter, you Angel Reese fans. And Caitlin Clark fans are clapping back at you occasionally. We're not complaining about y'all, and y'all are the ones doing 90% of it. But yet you complain about the 10%, and the whole world has to act like we're the ones doing all of it. No, I'm not giving you anything. I'm not I'm not giving you a, a concession. I'm not giving you a caveat. Go ahead. Keep on spewing your racist vow. Um venom towards Caitlyn online. We don't care. We we try and win a championship. We ain't worried about all this 
foolishness. And we're going to keep clapping back at y'all. And if you don't, and y'all ain't going to like it because you're not used to being responded to when you racist towards white people. You're not used to being responded to. And then um, like the majority of her fans online are black men. So you can't pull, it's really hard to pull the, the it's, it's, it's tricky because now y'all, y'all not dealing with just white people. You're dealing with a lot of black dudes that, and then some black women who support Caitlin Clark. So you're, you're in a weird space. Um, I, I'm calling you. I'm not going, I'm not like these other YouTubers that, that follow Caitlin Clark. I'm not giving you the, yeah, we need to stop all this stuff. If y'all doing this stuff, man, y'all need to stop. Whoever out there talking about and we got me stop. Nope, I'm not doing it. It's y'all doing it. This guy right here, he says, the heifers in the WNBA don't care about denouncing racism at all. The WNBA is being woke. Welfare League just wants to use Caitlyn to poop on her white American fans, half the country, and conservative people. Exactly. Well said. Um, this dude says, Y'all need to stop telling people how they need to do things, especially people who are far more successful than you. Facts. This one says, you are just another problem that will ultimately help make the WNBA fail as a business. And by the way, Caitlin Clark doesn't need to say anything. You blanks don't support her at all, so whatsoever. And these are comments aimed at Brianna, Brianna Stewart. And that's what she deserves to get. Don't give, don't baby these girls. Don't give these girls, hey, everybody, y'all need to stop being racist, man, George, George Angel Reed, man. That's totally a lie. When you know damn well, if you follow Caitlin Clark, you know she's been the target of 90% of the venom and racism that's been spewed out surrounding this league. Whether it's been all the chicks at ESPN. Just blindly supporting Angel Reese and everything because of her race. When there was no nothing on the court that warranted her being even remotely compared to Caitlin Clark. Whether it's that anybody who supported Caitlin Clark that was black, like you were roundly criticized and Shout it down and call disparaging names and terms um, that insinuate that you're a, you're a sellout and you you're a traitor a traitor to your race. And then I'm supposed to turn around and be like, "You are, hey everybody, stop talking bad about injury. She don't deserve that, man." If y'all doing that, y'all need to stop. Man, you. <laughs> Yo, y'all crazy, man. Y'all are crazy, man. Um, Let me end this video. <laughs> y'all are absolutely crazy if y'all think y'all going to get that on this channel. Like, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to this channel. You won't, you won't have to hear no fake apologies. Because here's the thing. The Caitlin Clark pages that are apologizing, they've covered her Oh, yeah, they know that she's the target. She's the victim. And they're still apologizing to Angel Reese. You, you, subscribe here, man. Leave, leave them people alone, man.